All right, welcome back. We're in the home office. Time for your headlines for this Tuesday from your Pratt Pack. Northern California, where a campfire has left 42 people dead, is now the deadliest and most destructive wildfire in the state's recorded history. Winds are dying down today, giving exhausted firefighters, including some who lost their own homes, a better chance of getting a grip on the blaze. After running a year-long competition that drew interest from hundreds of cities and a number of states, Amazon has chosen New York City and Northern Virginia to split duty for its second headquarters. Today, they announced they have chosen New York's Long Island City and Virginia's Arlington for HQ2. The development project promises to bring the cities a giant infusion of high-paying jobs and tax revenue. CNN has filed a lawsuit against President Trump and several aides seeking the immediate return of Chief of White House correspondent Jim Acosta's access to the White House. The lawsuit isn't a response to the White House's suspension of Acosta's press pass, known as a Secret Service hard pass, last week. President Donald Trump could ask Kirsten Nielsen, his Secretary of Homeland Security, to resign in the coming days. Multiple officials familiar with the matter predicted describing the president's continued frustration at her handling of his signature issue, immigration and border security, as the reason. Sports, Eli Manning threw three touchdowns as the Giants defeated the 49ers 27-3 Monday Night Football. And Pitt got 24 points from Jared Wilson frame and defeated Troy 84-75. They are now 3-0 on the year. And the Pens drop the puck at Jersey tonight at 7 o'clock. Have a great day from your Pratt Pack.